he's 117 and 117 in his career. That's the definition of average. But it's not fair to say he's 117 and 117 because it's not Venus Williams against Serena Williams. It's the New York Giants and the 10 of the people on the, on the field when he's actually playing against the 11 guys on the other side. He can't do it all himself, and I've heard the argument, well, if you're great, you can lift people up. Well, when, when he actually had a decent team around him, you know what his record was, or the team's record? It was 69 and 51. That's really good. Now, to get to 500 from 69 and 51, you know what happened? The Giants have been bereft in their duty to build a team around him. The offensive line has been awful. They've been terrible. And Eli Manning has not been great, but boy, it's hard to be great if you're, in fact, not surrounded by great players. And uh, it, it's funny, Chris Canty was saying on uh, DPHO Canty and Rothenberg today, said, in his entire time as a Giant, entire time, name me one guy on the offensive side of the ball that the Giants provided him that was a Hall of Famer. One. One. Not one. The closest, the best player he ever played with was Plaxico Burris. He's had good players. Tiki was a good player. He's not a Hall of Famer. Has he had a, uh, an offensive lineman that's a Hall of Famer? What he's done with the amount of talent around him, where the Giants have not sufficiently built a team that served his needs, I think he's a Hall of Famer. And uh, now I will tell you this, and this is what makes it complicated. If you took those two Super Bowl champions out of the equation, he's not even in the discussion to be a Hall of Famer. But you don't take those out. You keep those in. And he won the MVP in both of those. So those are a big part. If my aunt had hair in her back, she'd be my uncle. As right. My, as Michael K. would say. Right. You can't take the rings away. You can't take the rings away. And he wasn't a passenger in those games. He was the MVP. He was the MVP. Although Justin Tuck could have been the MVP. Right, but you, you can think of two moments in each Super Bowl where you're like, wow. Obviously, the, the, the throw when he escapes the sack and then the throw to Manningham in that second Super Bowl. So it's not like he was a passenger, just kind of hung around. The defense got him the ball uh, in a short field and didn't do anything. He did things. He's the only quarterback to drive the field when a touchdown was needed to win a Super Bowl, or the first one anyway. You know, I don't even want to hear about the record, Michael, because you just outlined it's difficult to put it all on him because it's not a pitcher. And even in pitching, in baseball, Michael, we talk about how wins and losses aren't worth anything because a lot of things happen that are beyond the pitcher's control. Good point. But do you realize that if he just walked away after the 2016 season, they went 11-5 and that year, you started to see that he wasn't the same quarterback. He was 35, going to be turning 36 years old. They go to the playoffs. They lose to the Packers. Let's just say he decided at 35, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Because look what happened in 2017. The ill-fated uh, Geno Smith game, and then 2018 and 2019, obviously the team wasn't very good. After 2016, the Giants as a team, or the, when, in the games that, in which he played, 17 games under 500, all right? They were 3-12 and 12 in the games he started in 2017. You can't tell me they were 3-12 and 12 because of Eli Manning. They were 3-12 and 12 because they were an awful team. Mm -hmm. The next year, they're 5-11. and 11. Were they 5-11 and 11 because of Eli? He was a contributor. Of course, he was on the team. But did you go, boy, that team would have been 11-5, and 5, but because Eli Manning was the quarterback, they finished 5-11. and 11. And he ended up losing three of the four games that he played on an awful giant team this year. So don't give me the record because if he walked away after 2016 and then the team completely fell apart after that, he'd be 17 games over 500 and we'd be talking about the record.